okay, let's talk about what I like and what I don't like. What I like is that, hey, I can actually get filament locally if I need PLA or silk PLA or the marble PLA and such. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be stocking any of the more complex materials that, you know, folks like us like, you know, PETG or ABS. But, hey, if you're just looking for, you know, these basic PLA and, and silk PLA, it's a great price and it prints extremely well. And out of the package, I didn't need to dry it before use. It worked fine in two of the machines I tested it on. So, so that's a win right there. Okay, so let's talk about the things I don't like. And really, I don't have anything negative to say about this. I, I wish there was a little bit more information. You know, like, uh, you know, usually when you buy filaments, they include some sort of safety data sheet or a technical data sheet. Uh, essentially, you just get a temperature range and that's it. You're on your own. But for stuff like, you know, uh, wood PLA, which can sometimes be a little bit trickier to dial in, uh, it would be really cool to have some additional info. Uh, the other thing is, as far as Hobby Lobby goes, I know some folks, you know, aren't Hobby Lobby shoppers. Some don't care. And that's fine. But uh, I would really love it if someone local is going to stock stuff, if they would stock like domestically made stuff. So, I mean, this stuff all comes from China and it works great. But uh, I would really appreciate seeing some domestically made stuff being sold for retail here in the U.S.